Hey guys, my name's Matiri and I'm a dubstep producer. I'm in here in Ableton. If you watch my last video on mixing, I'll be continuing that. But this time we're going to be mastering. And really mastering, all it is is setting the levels to um, an ideal volume so that uh, it's not killing our speakers and sounding all horrible and amateurish. So. You'll be able to hear the difference in the end, but um, also mastering would comprise of compressing, which will equal out our sounds, or equal the um, levels out. So slower sounds won't be so low, and louder sounds won't be so loud. And again, that's part of limiting as well. So there's not really much to mastering, there's only like three steps, but I'm going to show you how to set up your session view in Ableton so that you can start mastering. So in Ableton I have all my tracks out, same as before, but um, here I'm going to drag my mouse over this and I'm just gonna drag it up two times until you have two boxes. Now these boxes indicate the highest level that your track has gotten to on the top and the volume level that it's at. So you see I pull this down and it goes down. Then this, like I said before, is the highest that it's gotten to. So even though that this is minus 11, it's gotten up to negative 2.5, well, yeah, um, decibels. So after we did this, we have to go up here to our track and click and drag it until you get these numbers. Now these numbers are really helpful. They just, it's, have them out. Do that for every track like I did. I did it before so I could save some time. And on the master track, all you have to do is drag it to the left. And then we'll be set to go. So let's just start off by soloing one of our tracks. I'll solo the vocals first because that's the first track that I have. I'll go here into my arrangement view and just click on the vocals so it starts here. And I soloed it out and now what you want to do is you want to try to get the top number to f from negative 8 to um, like negative 12-ish. You don't want any higher that, than that because it will then um, overpower and sound like crap when we limit it and compress it and all that. So let's hear. The highest one is 6.24 right now, so let's just lower our thing down to 3 and see if that makes it low. Nice, that is now at 9.2, negative 9.24, but I'm going to actually make it negative 2.5, and that way it's a little louder than everything else, because it's the vocals, and I want it to be the um, strong point of the entire song. So now I'm going to click on my chop vocals, go over here, click on a um, trap or one of the clips so that it starts there, and I'm just going to listen. Now, it, the highest that it got to was negative 6.7, which is way too high. So I'm going to go negative 15. How about negative 14? Because that's a little low. Uh, negative 14.5. So now I'm just going to listen and look at the top number, make sure it doesn't get any too much higher. And now I can click it to re reinitialize it. I'm going to go to negative negative um but I have it negative 14.6 
Okay, so now that's nice. But I'm gonna just play. Yeah. So that was nice for me. Now my highest is at negative 10.5, which is good. Now I'm gonna solo the next track and just continually do this forever, pretty much. And uh, I'll come back to you when it's done so we can move on. Oh, um, sorry, real quick. Again, I'm not sure if I made this point clear, but um, make sure you keep that top number below negative eight, but higher than negative 12. I mean, a little lower is like good, is okay. But I mean, for your main tracks, you want them in that range. Like for a pad, like you want it to sound lower than everything, definitely go down more. Um, just make sure it doesn't go above um, negative 8. That's an important thing. So now you can just level it out, and uh, again, I'll come back in a few minutes when I'm done. Um, one thing I want to point out, I'm not done yet, but uh, um, I'll just point this out real quick, is that on my drum kit, I I limit or I, I level out all these sounds inside of my drum rack, but um, I usually keep my peak on the entire kit um, higher than everything else so that it sounds more out there. So like um, negative six, negative five area, that's a nice way to keep it. I mean, when you level everything out, you should automatically get around there, so... But um, you want to listen to the entire thing and uh, make sure all your levels sound right. And also, you want to keep this number on your master un under zero. So make sure it's under zero, because you don't want any clipping. And above zero is clipping, and that's just distortion. So I'll get back to you if I have any more important tips, or if um, or when I'm done, I mean. Okay guys, um, everything's nice and leveled out. You can see all my numbers are pretty good. Except my drum kit is kind of high, but I'm not even going to worry about that. It's at negative 4, which is okay for me. The reverse symbol's a little high too, but uh, I kind of want it overpowering everything. And what the heck? Hold on, let me just listen to this to make sure it's not overpowering. <laughs> Hold on. The um I'm going to take out the symbol on this every time the um reverse symbol goes, I'll take out the um symbol on here. Undo that. That's taken off. That's taken off. That's whatever. This should be taken off. I just don't want the uh, the two competing against each other, so to say. So and now I'll show you an example of compression real quick, just so you can see what compression is and what it does. Watch the level of my um bass, sub bass. It's high, but then it goes low randomly. So let's let's fix that by compressing it. So I'm just gonna drag a compressor onto that track. And here we are. We have a threshold and an output. Those are the two main things you really need to worry about. Your threshold is the lowest sound, like if the sound is above um, negative 2.6, then it will go to whatever the output is. So, that's perfect. But uh, I'm going to put the output up to 5. Now I gotta mess with this again. So 
So that's actually really good. Now it sounds a lot better. So without, way down here, and all the sounds, it's kind of going, jumping everywhere. So with it, now it's more up, sounds a lot nicer. The, um, it's not too far apart, which is good. Okay, so um, now everything else actually sounded pretty decent. Getting some clipping. When the vocals come in. For the chop vocals, I'm actually going to compress it as well so that it's not jumping all over the place. So I'm going to lower this. Maybe 4.5, make it a little lower. Now let's try negative 5. Or let me put the threshold down to negative 12. Keep this at negative 4.5. Now I think my one of these bases is a little too loud. And yeah, I'll say that's a little too loud. I'm gonna put this down to negative. Lower my lead. And I think our drums are a little too loud. Don't worry if it just clips here and there. That's what lemonade's for. Oops. Okay, so now all of our levels are set. Sorry that took a while, but um, I was just checking the levels again. I should have done that before, but okay. So now we're on our master track, and um, we're going to add a limiter which is in the audio effects, add a limiter, but first, and um, drag a compressor in front of it. So put our limiter to um, the ceiling, place it as negative 0.2 or negative 2.25. So I'll do negative 0.2. And now our compressor.
Okay, so that's pretty much it. That's pretty much mastering. But um, let me go over the limiter real quick. All the limiter is doing is um, saying no sound will go above this. And this is our ceiling. So it'll stop all the sounds that are going higher than negative 0.2 decibels. And uh, we don't want a like massive amount going over like if like that is bad. Don't do that, <laughs> please. Uh, just have like here and there it can go off. So that's nice. Now that sounds so much better than our, uh, our original track. So I'm going to do a side by side, a quick uh, preview of before and after. So now I'll save and we're ready to export. So thanks for watching. If you guys like this, uh, please subscribe, go to my Facebook, um, tell me you watch my um, video on mastering or mixing and I will reply with so much happiness it will be unbelievable like I don't even I can't explain it but my um my Facebook is facebook.com forward slash materi m-e-t-i-r-i dubstep so materi dubstep no spaces and uh please go like that page subscribe again and uh comment please comment, suggestions, um, tips for other users, tips for me, something you didn't like, but don't be, don't be a douche about it, please. Be like, um, you know, you should have done this instead of doing this and blah, blah, blah. Be constructive about it, not be like, well, you don't know what you're talking about. You're a douche. You suck at writing music because then I'll go home and I'll cry. So thanks for watching and have a good night or good morning, wherever you guys are. And bye.